On Easter, I do reflect on the fact that as a Christian, I am supposed to love. And I have to say that sometimes when I listen to uh, less than loving expressions by Christians, I get concerned. But that's a topic for another day. <laughs> and welcome back to the Daily Wrap. That was President Obama at a prayer breakfast on Tuesday, raising some eyebrows with those remarks. And if you go to Newsmax.com right now, you'll see a well-written reason story about some critics of the president believing that he is, in fact, anti-Christian. And this isn't the first time he's angered those of the faith. Here's Mr. Obama back in February. Remember that during the Crusades and the Inquisition, People committed terrible deeds in the name of Christ. In our home country, slavery and Jim Crow all too often was justified in the name of Christ. Now remember that the president has said repeatedly that terrorism committed by Al-Qaeda and ISIS is not done in the name of religion. Now let's make two things clear. ISIL is not Islamic. No religion condones the killing of innocents. And there has been criticism that the president is tough on Christians, but tiptoes very carefully when speaking about followers of Islam. Rick, I know you have some thoughts on whether this is a controversy or a nothing it's, burger. It's a controversy, but it's a despicable controversy. You know, you listen to the first thing that the president said there. Did he say anything that wasn't true? Absolutely not. There are Christians, all of us. We all sin. Even Bill O'Reilly said that. And that's what he was pointing out. But I got I want to highlight my favorite. And this is right out of an article that was in Newsmax today. Bill Donahue, who is the president of the Catholic League, said the following. I know that secular I know secular minded people. He, referring to the president, is certainly one of them. I don't believe he's a Christian and I don't believe he's a Muslim. He believes in nothing, stands for nothing, and he's good for nothing. That is exactly what President Obama was talking about when he made that speech. Here is a guy, I'm no religious scholar, but I do remember the part where it says, judge not lest ye be judged. Who the heck is Bill Donahue to measure the depth of Barack Obama's religion? Who is he? Obama stood before you all and said he's a Christian. How does Bill Donahue get to say that, that he's not up to his standards as a Christian? Does that mean he, according to Donahue's definition, does that make him an atheist or agnostic? I it never makes, know the difference. It makes, it makes Bill Donahue a total, you know what, hypocrite. <laughs> Interesting. Ken. I don't know who's giving President Obama advice to, to, to go there. Yeah. I just don't see the point. I don't see the value. I don't understand what the point is in any of the stuff that he's saying, you know, because it's true. Well, he was you know, talking in an Easter service. I, I understand yeah. that. But, you know, he, you, can, you can say that about any religion. I mean, yes, there's people yeah. from any religion. But why single out Christians, at a t especially at Easter, and at a time when, e when Christians are being persecuted in the Middle East? I, I mean, I, it's, a, it's a no-win, and 100%. I don't understand it. The reason is that it's a trap for him. I mean, there's a reason we don't talk about religion at the dinner table, because it usually re results in arguments. And he knows that religion, whether it's uh, the Reverend Wright, what have you, has always been a minefield for him. So why is he going there? I really think that uh, all of this kind of conversations are a trap, and government should really evolve past that. I'd like to see a uh, Mark Zuckerberg for president. Would he be having these kinds of conversations? No. He'd be talking yeah, about solutionary. for not. No, but he'd be talking about solutionary approaches. Uh, CEOs don't sit around uh, generally unless they're, you know, Hobby Lobby talking about religion. Let's bring business back into government I and agree. take all the gobbledygook out. And this is part of the problem. He's falling into a trap. I agree with that completely. There's no place for religion when it comes to government. I agree. But if you don't get to judge a human being, I don't care if Barack Obama's president of the United States or, or selling tickets at Yankee Stadium, you don't get to judge that way, especially when you're judging saying he's not a Christian because I say so. Yeah, but life's not fair. So and and it's Obama wrong. should know, the president should know better knowing that he's falling into a trap. I think Jay makes a great point that this is about timing. And when Christians are being beheaded by ISIS, 
Uh, maybe well, you know what? And Jews are being killed in the synagogues in Europe, and Muslims are being killed by Muslims in the Middle East. This, and so, so why so all of a sudden? So why doesn't he go and give a speech about because Muslims? Because I want to know why Christians are suddenly so, or not all Christians, most Christians get it. Why these people are suddenly so upset and saying that he's anti-Christian? Where were they when Jews were being blown up it, in synagogues? Were they began, saying that that they're, he's? He, they didn't say a word, did they? Rick, I think this began, and this was about two months ago when he compared the Crusades to ISIS, and he had to go. All the way back 500 yeah, years to know, find Christians also, killing people. He also in the talked name of about, religion. and it was that second speech, he talked about the uh, what happened in Spain, the insurrection. Yeah, the Inquisition. Inquisition. I'm sorry. And I got to tell El you Brooks something. As, yeah, right. As right. somebody who's, who's, whose ancestors were on those racks, I took his point. But I'm saying he didn't have to reach back 500 years to try to equate. Christianity he's, he's with, with ISIS to say killing something. All he's trying to say is don't hate your neighbor because no. they're not you. We all have dirt but on you have our to admit, From a PR perspective, the reaction has not been good for him. I and think he's James a point, human being. just kept it out. And he's and a go. human being who is upset exactly. that the Christian right has been attacking him. And that's the last word. Potluck time next. This is the Daily Wrap only on Newsmax.